Hey everybody, this is Ian from Team ODZ. I'm one of the coach mentors for the team for the uh, Team ODZ Endurance Lab. We have our eight week schedule getting ready to start on Monday. So we wanna go over real quick on how to download the workout files and move them over to Zwift so you don't have any issues using Training Peaks and getting it over to Zwift. If you have any questions on it later on, you can always hit us up on our Facebook page and also be more than happy to, to do one-on-one -on -one contact with you. Um, likewise, make sure your Zwift is connected to your Training Peaks so it'll automatically re-upload it. A few, few simple steps we're gonna go over as we talk about getting, up, getting your file from Training Peaks to Zwift. Pretty simple, actually. We have two choices you can do it. One would be the downward arrow export as, uh, as a .zwo file, or you can just use the file name that we built into every one of the workouts. But we wanna make sure you know how to use them both in case somehow we missed a uh, workout file in there. You'll be able to export any of the other files. Once you've downloaded it to your, work, to your uh, download folder, we want you to move it over to your workout folder, and then you can open Zwift. And then from there you'll go and select a workout. But we're gonna go over it together right here, so there should not be any questions. All right, so looking at our Training Peaks calendar, this is what you're gonna see. The eight week training program all the way out. And we're gonna go ahead and pick the first workout right here, the VO2654 workout. And like I said, there's two options. You can click this export workout file button. The export workout file button will pull up the screen right here and you wanna click on the one that says .zwo or the ZWO best for Zwift. And this will go ahead and kick you out of file. You can see down in the bottom left here, it's a 2017-08-07 VO26 dot 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 .zwo. Okay, that's one way you can do it. We'll go ahead and get that off. Or the other option we built in in the description, the download attachment, which is the file. You can just click on that and it will download it for you. Once you've done that, very simple process, as I'm sure you're all aware, you can just find your workout file, which either one of these two, and you will go ahead and copy it over into the workouts folder right here. Just drag it over and drop it. Once you've done the drag and drop, you're simply going to Open your Zwift, now I already had mine open because I would moved it over earlier, but you do not want to open Zwift, and I want to reiterate, do not open Zwift until you've already had your uh, workout moved, otherwise you won't find it. Then you're going to select your workout. Now it could be in one of two places. I have an OD Zwifters folder, which most of these workouts go to, but it could easily go into the custom workout folder. So make sure you check both places. So in this case, I know it's in the OD Zwifters folder. So I'm just going to scroll down all the way and boom I've got my VO2 max 654 workout right there pretty simple and you can see what you're gonna be doing now at this point you can choose use erg mode or not so if the orange dot is filled in then you are using erg mode for those of you who have a smart trainer if those not leave it you can make the choice well if you have a non smart trainer you don't have a choice if you have the smart trainer you can leave it empty um, depends on what you're trying to do. And then you're simply going to click work out and go from there. Just to recap, that's how you're going to do it. Open the workout. You can pick either way. They're slightly different based on some of the uh, abilities you have on right handwriting the code in, uh, or creating it in Zwift by doing it on Training Peaks, but they're pretty close. Then you're going to move it to the download folder. From the download folder to the workout folder, you'll open up Zwift and you'll find your workout. That's going to be it today. Uh, if you have any other any other questions, feel free to reach out in the uh, in the uh, workout group uh, Facebook page, and we're glad to answer them. If you have any questions about the workouts, you can ask uh, Jason, Mitch, or myself, and we will definitely get right back to you and answer any of the questions you have. Till then, we hope to see you out on the course during the workouts, and uh, we've got a good eight weeks ahead of us.